Hey everybody, G Bear out at the Desert Homestead getting ready to head home. It's Friday the 14th of April. Uh, I came out here two days ago just to water plants and I got caught in a windstorm so I had to stay an extra night. The wind has finally died down right now so I'm going to try to get this video taken. Um, I forgot to bring my foam covered microphone that I made and uh, I'm right now holding a rag over the microphone on the phone just to make sure that we don't get drowned out by any wind. Anyway, the reason we're standing here in front of the giant uh, grapevine that I brought up in, from my place in Tustin and planted out here is uh, I was concerned about this for a while, but I wanted to show you something. Um, got something going on right here, and I'm gonna get right down to it there. And you can see right there, there's a fresh bud coming out. That tells me there's life in this grapevine. So it's still been a little cold. It got down to uh, 39 degrees last night. And uh, grapevines don't like it when it's that cold. They stay dormant. So it's going to come out. I think that one's going to be okay. These down here, I'm not seeing anything uh, on those either. But I gave them some go juice and we'll let them thrive for a little while and see what happens. And maybe they'll come too. Same thing with this one. Uh, it had leaves on it when I brought it up here, but apparently the cold sent it back into dormancy, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this one over here still has some green on it and some fresh leaves coming out. I gave it some go juice last time I was here, and uh, it apparently took to that. It liked it. I want to show you that even with the high winds, and we had gusts again last night, uh, well, actually all day yesterday and all night last night and until 9.30 this morning, and uh, it was gusting 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour sometimes. You see my uh, skeleton stayed up. I didn't have any problems with that getting blown over or anything or even getting tweaked. It's nice and square. All right, well, let's move over this way. And here... We have my small trailer. I'm going to be hauling that back with me this time. I came up with the rack that's mounted on top of there. And I had that loaded with uh, things like uh, my cement mixer, which you can see right over here. I've got that chained off to the small trailer. And uh, they're locked together, so I'm, that should be okay. And uh, it doesn't mind sitting out in the weather. That's why the barrel is downward, so it won't fill up with water. But that's going to... Uh, make things easy when I mix concrete out here in larger quantities. Let's go to my trees. Good news, I put the go juice on them and look at the gala apples. It's got uh, leaves coming out here, it's got the leaves there, and it's got fresh leaves coming out at the top, fresh buds everywhere. So the go juice worked on that, it's liking it. Come over here to the other gala that didn't have anything last time we were here and look at this blossoms it has blossoms yes and up here we have leaves and up there we have fresh growth and over here we have fresh growth that one's going to do great so they did, did take and the gojis helped them my little miniature tree over here it's uh got some set fruit on it but it looks like it's drying up a little bit so, although right there that looks like i might survive over there and this one's got some fresh growth on it. I gave that some go juice too and as you can see all the dark around the bottoms of all of these trees I put some fresh mulch out uh, to help hold in the moisture since it's going into the hotter season now and uh, over here let's see here's that little clone that I cut off a friend's tree and there it is showing fresh growth on it so that one's doing okay. I gave that a little bit more go juice. Over here, my multi-pair. Doing just fine. No blossoms yet, but uh, got some fresh growth coming out of the tops of some of these branches. So that's a good thing. Over here, my Bartlett pair. Hey, we've got blooms, we've got blossoms. We've got green, we've got green all the way up at the top. Just really doing well, really likes it here. So that one's doing just fine. I'm happy with it. I gave it all of these some fresh water and of course the 
mulch at the bottom to protect the bottoms. This one has fruit set on it. This is a uh, multi multiple apple tree and uh, almost every branch has a small fruit set. The uh, blossoms have gone to fruit here. All right, well, let's move over. My fig tree didn't like the cold, lost all its green uh, leaves. Uh, I gave it some more go juice and it looks like I've got some fresh growth coming out of the top of it. And that's just in two days since I've been here. So uh, that one, as long as we uh, start warming up here, it should be okay. Peach tree. Hey, check out the peaches. I've got some nice peaches there. As you can see by the size of my fingers on them, they're uh, probably about the size of a quarter or so. And uh, there's quite a few of them on that little tiny tree. It doesn't stand more than three feet tall. Hey, you remember my plum tree that wasn't doing anything? I gave it some go juice, and look at this. We've got sprouts coming out of all of the branches. It looks like it's finally going to take and get to producing. So that one in the next couple of weeks should be really interesting to watch. Moving on over, the multi-cherry tree. I guess the cold got to it, but I still have growth on it. There's still stuff coming out of it, and the tall one all the way up there, it's got uh, beads, uh, little sprouts coming out of it. We'll see. This one here doesn't look like it's got anything on it yet, but that's a different type of cherry. Let me see what that is. That's um, Montmorency. Montmorency, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, that one it just might be a later growth than the others, but it shows that there's still some buds on the... Uh, on the leaves on the branches here uh, so that just might take off a little bit after the others that's why they do this type of thing over here my weeping plum it wasn't doing anything so I pruned it back and as I pruned it back I noticed that there was green in some of the branches so it's alive it's not dead it just has decided that it isn't ready to start sprouting yet. We'll give that one a little more time. It's got its go juice to it and it's got fresh mulch around the bottom and a solar light to keep a company at night. Anyway, let's move over here and this is the elephant heart plum and you can see that it's green all the way through. Now this one was loaded with uh, flowers, blooms, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I don't see any flowers blooms on it and I don't see any set fruit. So the cold may have taken over on that one but we'll give it some more time see what happens. There's fresh growth coming out on some of these branches so it might just come back. Over here apricot. Apricot looks healthy. It's growing well. Now those branches that I said I should have trimmed off, I thought the, the suckers, they are branching. So I'm going to leave them there for a little while longer. I've got a green down there. I'm going to pluck, pluck that one off. Oops, sorry if I went out of frame there, but I had to lean over the wire. So anyway, that one's doing really well. Over to the garden. Or gardens. Over here, look at this. Hey, I got my kale coming up there. I got my broccoli coming up down here. Uh, I've got a yellow squash coming up right there. I've got corn coming up back there. And I've got all of my onions. Just really, really happy out here. I'm gonna have plenty of onions have to bring up some mouthwash. Over here I had some Mexican onions in the refrigerator that were going bad so I brought them out and I planted them. I've done this before with scallions and they take and this one's already got a seed pod on the top of it so I'll get some seeds off of that. I also um, punched a couple holes and put in some um, carrots that were going bad. Uh, it's not really good to transplant parrots, uh, carrots, I'm sorry, uh, carrots don't um, like being transplanted and they come out in odd shapes. 
I don't care what shape they're in as long as they taste like carrots. All my cilantro is doing great back there and I got a potato sprout here. And that came up from just a potato peel that uh, had yet and tossed um, through the wire or dropped through the wire from one of the crows that had been eaten out of that compost over there. It dropped a potato peel in here while sitting on the wire and it took. So I'll have some potatoes in there too. And I planted some jalapenos that were in the refrigerator going bad. And uh, they may take, they may not, but uh, why not? Over here, these are, that little green thing in the center, that's potato. I planted a couple of potatoes there um, a while back. I just stuck them in the ground and uh, just to see what they would do. And I've got sprouts coming off them. Compost is loaded with eggshells. And that's about it. Again, I just came up to do watering here, so I didn't get much done, although because the wind was blowing all day yesterday, I went inside the container and I put up a couple more shelves. I sorted out some of the tools. I did some organization in there. I'm going to be bringing up some shelves on the next trip. That's why I'm taking the trailer home with me on this trip. I came up with the rack. I'm going back with the rack on the trailer. So it uh, it kind of works out the way I'm doing things here and uh, uh, getting a little bit more organized. So that's uh, where we want to go. Oh yeah, my fire pit for Andy. Um, he had built this little rock thing to put the fire pit on. Well, I had this metal piece back at my house just laying around. I brought that up and I turned that into the stand for the uh, the fire pit. So that works out better. Keeps it nice and level. And then his little unit right here, I'm going to keep that because I could throw some charcoal in there, put a, a a barbecue grate on there and we can cook some steaks or uh, whatever for while we're out here in the summertime just relaxing so uh, Andy your little rock pit isn't going anywhere it's staying okay that's about it people I did use some water this time I made I got made sure I got a real good soaking on everything because uh, I'm not coming up uh, this weekend I'm of course I'm leaving today it's Friday uh, I may be up next weekend depending on weather um, if not, it'll be uh, Monday and Tuesday after that. I'll have to come up and water the plants again. I try to get up at least uh, once every ten, seven to ten days and make sure my plants have water. And uh, we'll go from there. That's about it, people. My uh, aloe vera is doing fine. I got a water bucket up there on the outdoor shower. I took an outdoor shower. Uh, the first night I was here and then I had to take an indoor shower this morning because it was cold out here It was 42 when I got outside at 9 a.m. All right, that's it. I'm gonna pack it in and get out of here. I've got things to do places to go G bear desert homestead signing off <laughs>